Oh my gosh, guys. Right on time. Right it's, on time. Uh, you know, it's Tuesday, October 8th. Sorry, it's a, I, will, I will drop this bit because it's too confusing. It's Friday, October 7th. People um, are already confused because they're like, this was supposed to like, start 15 minutes tomorrow's ago. Tomorrow's not Tuesday. Uh, we were supposed to start 15 minutes ago. <laughs> we Did we have tech issues? We may have had some tech issues. I may have had a freak out. We may have intimidated may our have audio. I punched a wall. Yeah. A lot of war back here. <laughs> We've been through a, a bit of a rough time. The sheer gravitas of our news coverage yeah. scared our own mics into not working. Yeah, they were like, I know we were plugged in yesterday. Yeah. I know you did nothing to change anything. I think. But it's we're going to not work. I think it's a conspiracy from the liberal media to stop us from you saying think our so? truth. Yeah. I think the goblins. Because we're going we're gonna to talk about some serious, hard hitting news. You know, and some of it partisan, some of it biased. They say you're 15 minutes late, you end 15 minutes late. Probably can do. Maybe. I mean, potentially, if, if Kasim will allow, because Andor Candor yeah, is he's right got a Candor is Andor. But get his he could, then he could go 15 minutes late. Can't look at him in the back there. He looks angry. I do think it might have been Kevin that did this to us. Yeah, Kevin, Kevin, in at night. Kevin hacked into this. He's bored. He's got a lot of time on his hands. He's a little gremlin. Yeah. <laughs> he's a little, a little gremlin. We've always known he's a little gremlin, and now he's living his truth by being a literal gremlin and ruining our tech. Yeah. But guys, now I'm but sure we fixed. sound great. If we don't sound great, there's no time to fix it. We've got to get into we some news. We have to give you content. Yeah. Uh, you ready for this? Hi, Catalina. How are you doing? You ready for content? I'm so ready. <laughs> no time for small talk. Let's get into the hard news. For instance, man disputes porn, dilby, d- porn bill because he says dog ordered it. This yes. is a classic homework excuse. Now being applied to the pornography bills you receive from your <laughs> cable package. I love this story because I was reading it earlier and I was like, okay, this guy doesn't seem to be married. Did he make up this lie to a girlfriend or somebody's like, oh, I didn't order the porn. The dog, he hit the button. Yeah. My Doesn't dang mean? dog was chewing my homework and watching my porn. I um, Also, to be clear, we're going to start with the worst stories we have. Yeah. To let people kind of ease into the yeah. news. We didn't really have a pre-stream. So, I mean, do we have huge news to get to? Yes. Although I would argue this is honestly the most this important the story of the day. News. Let me hit you with a little bit of the, fa- of the important facts here reported by the New York Post. Thomas Barnes, who we're doxing, that's his name, <laughs> from Raleigh, and that, now you can go find him, <laughs> had to dispute a $70 charge with DirecTV after his literal horn dog, Marino, managed to order the Hustler channel back in 2019. 2019? He's been fighting this case for three years. Yeah, I was I was I was surprised. It was a seventy dollar charge, and I understand, you know, depending, you know, that can mean a lot. But but to to fight it for three years, the the amount of hours spent calling, mm-hmm. like that time is also money. Yeah. Okay, and I'm I would bet you he spent probably two hundred fifty dollars of his time. Yeah. Over the last three years, the return on this investment this charge not high. He could have just enjoyed the porn after his dog ordered it. I know the dog. Probably could tell that he was really on edge and needed a release of some kind. And he was like, you know what? I know just the title for you. Well, let me pull on your heartstrings here with this important reporting. Despite Um, Barnes, a 58-year-old on social security disability, being assured on the phone that the charge would be reversed, the steamy channel remained active. He called again, again, and again to no avail. And to be clear, the channel his dog ordered, the Hustler channel. The Hustler channel. So the other piece of news here, there's still a Hustler channel on your cable package if you have one. I... I have a question. Yeah. How much did those eyeglasses cost for for Barnes the dog? I mean, there's a lot of questions. For instance, how did this story's story come across the New York Post desk? Did he write in? How do they find out this stuff? How do they find out this stuff? Because New York Post, they really love to tell. Did someone tell their really dad to story. tell them this story so that they could make this headline? Yeah, he was like, please, I really need to hit my article quota so I can afford to live These are in the New York City. We're not afraid to ask please, on the feedback. I need to get paid $150 for this post. Yeah. I, I, I ju- they just need something. It's yeah. got to be kind of a spicy headline. It's got to be stupid. It's got to have porn in it. It's got to have a dog in it. And you've got disability, so it's going to be sympathetic. Yeah. Well, I don't have sympathy. I'm. Co- I think this. I think this is crisis actors. I want to make our show more controversial. I'm saying this is fake news. Fake news. You heard it here Whoa, first. Oh, we're going there, guys. We're going there on the dog porn stories. Uh, let's move on to American tourists smash two sculptures in the Vatican. <sighs> this is why we get such a bad rap traveling overseas. Yeah. Everybody hates Americans because we choose to punch things. Yeah. Why? Because we say stuff like fake news. We accuse everyone of. Lying. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I agree. We need to be more careful in important Vatican museums, I guess. I mean, look at these statues. Can we scroll up to that picture? 
thought they looked kind of smashable. So, so it was those giant statues they it's pro- I think smashed? It's stock oh, okay. okay. Let's see if there's a photo of, of the smashing. No, there's not. But I'll, d- I'll hit you with some facts. The episode took place in the Museo Charamont. Am I saying that right? No. Chiaramonte. Chiaramonte? That's I tried guess. to go French with it. Took place in the Museo Chiaramonte, part of the Vatican Museums, around lunchtime on October 4th. The space holds around 1,000 works of ancient statuary and describes itself as one of the first collections of Roman portraits in the world. Uh, two of them portraits are facing an un- uncertain future after the tourist knocked over one in anger. Oh, no, in anger? He wasn't even just having, like, a, a zany... He wasn't just being silly? No. He wasn't he, just being rambunctious? Mm-mm. He wasn't having, like, a... Who's the weasel? What's that guy's name? Polly Shore. He wasn't having, like, a Polly Shore overseas adventure. Or like they, they Does smoke. he play a, we- a weasel in something? Or were you just no, describing a, him as a weasel? No, his nickname was The Weasel. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. The Weasel. You need to watch that more... That sucks. You actually. need to watch more that 90s sucks MTV that he went by Weasel. I think I'm right. Polly Shore The Weasel? Am I crazy? I just would not want to make that my brand at all <laughs> no he was the weasel you know but i mean i look at him and i'm like yeah that's a weasel i honestly can't how did he get famous how did he get famous like no disrespect no shade it was like how did you get famous I don't, no offense bro uh anyway the two bus have been damaged but not <laughs> particularly badly one lost part of a nose and an ear and the head of the other came off the pedestal okay that sounds pretty bad yeah, no, it sounds like they got mad and fully smashed priceless ancient artworks. Are, are they banned from the Vatican? That's what I want to know. They got a two-day timeout. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no way. They listen to me. They got, the actual, they got the actual Mario voice actor to come in and yell at them. Ugh. You could have stopped doing these. Oh, oh, no. oh, yeah, if it was Chris Pratt, it'd be like, you've got to stop doing this. <laughs> I'm Italian. <laughs> Uh, you know, we probably, we've, you know, that counts as our pre-stream. Those yeah. two extremely there, important Has everybody stories. trickled in? Sure. Yeah, we got lots of you. We're as good as we're gonna get. We're as good as we're gonna get because of our delayed text stream. I know. I'm sorry. So it's time to watch the Mario trailer. You've probably already seen this. Guys, you already seen this? We were gonna watch it yesterday, but it didn't. It didn't come out. It wasn't ready yet. We we go on too. Our news is too soon. Yeah. We're too ahead of the news. Yeah. So we couldn't show it. Let's watch it now. Whatever. Trailer Fridays. It's the trailer of the week. If you didn't see the train trailer, which is the real trailer. Exactly. But this is the number two trailer of the week. Mario, the movie. Let's see it. Whoa, no way. This level of graphic? Yeah. I have not. Open the gates. So that's Seth Rogen? No, actually, that's Jack Black. Uh, Jack Black is doing Bowser's voice, but it does not sound like him. He's that good. Taste of our fury. Do you yield? I do like the animation on this. <laughs> I do. It looks. I do good. not. Oh my God! He killed so many penguins. Looks like Game of Thrones. He just killed a whole building full of penguins. This must have liquidated them. See now you can hear that clap. Oh. 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 Ma! Do not touch that mushroom! You'll oh. die! Oh, I'm sorry. Fuck that you! Perfectly fine. Come on, Mario! Oh, mushroom! Oh, King mushroom King. pizza! Here we oh. go! Hey, oh, hey. I mean, hmm. Oh, there's a little Luigi stinger. 
<laughs> Luigi didn't have a voice. Okay. That Mario voice, though, I know people were talking a lot of trash about it, that it didn't sound Italian enough. Yeah. That that's not at 100% authentic Italian. That sounded me. really accurate. Yeah. Yeah. When he's I'm like, I need the fucking police. Uh, that sounded good to me. Wow. I mean, I felt can like. Can we just run the City? end of that trailer one more time? Yeah, just can the you Mario do that part? Little clip, pa that little part. Oh, yeah. I'm so impressed. Honestly, you guys, yeah. I feel bad for talking so much smack. I know. I, like, I didn't I didn't hear it yesterday, but yeah. today I'm hearing the Italian a lot more. Yeah. Like Which I think is the right choice. Like this part? Yeah, like just right from right when he there, appears. Right there, like yeah. right from his first appearance. A little further when back. When he comes out oh. the pipe. Yeah, I want it from oh. the top. I want to see, just want to see how much Chris Pratt we can hear. Yeah. Okay. Great. Oh, oh shit. Oh. Ouch. God damn, what happened? Oh, my shoulder. Okay. So you're picking up new lines here. Let's see what I'm hearing you lines. Uh, I think I'm paying more attention. Uh, well, we what is this? What am I? Let me just touch this fucking thing over here. Oh, oh, shit. What the fuck? Oh, I'm sorry. That one's perfectly fine. Come on, Mario. You fucking crazy little creature. Mushroom, oh, mushroom pizza and, and Coca-Cola. <laughs> hey, we, hey, oh, oh, hey. And there wasn't, there's no voice on Luigi. Can we just hit the Luigi stinger? Right after this. Cause I, like who's his voice actor? All right. <laughs> oh God, oh fuck. That sounded like Luigi to me, 100%. <laughs> Guys, I'm really surprised that this is gonna be an R-rated movie. They dropped so many F-bombs in the trailer. Drop all that. Well, it's authentic Italian. Yeah. Time, so it's different. Wow. I just, could we, we listen to it one more time? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> can we just hear that? I just want to watch the Mario part one more time. The Mario part? Just, I feel like I'm really starting to understand Chris Pratt's angle on it. Okay, okay. We're and there. now I'm really starting to get excited for the movie. I'd been not excited, and I feel like I'm finally experiencing the hype. Here we go. Okay, great. <laughs> oh, shit, oh, my fucking ass. Oh. Uh, Tony? Tony? Oh. Fucking uh. Oh my god. Look, look at all these fucking shoes everywhere. What? You know, wait, oh, wait, yeah, yeah. Oh, yes. Where the fuck am I? Man. Oh, I'm gonna fuck this thing. Oh, 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 oh. oh. I'm sorry. That it's, it talks. It talks to you. <laughs> no, hey, oh, my, hey. come on. Oh, come here, little fucking creature. <laughs> I. I think Chris Pratt's doing a great job. Wow. Wow. I hope he gets nominated for an Oscar yeah, for that absolutely. transformation. I, I found it transformational. Wow. Hey, hey, Cass. Hey, Cass, C can you tell us, Cass, what do you think of this movie? Cass? Cass, come over. Yeah. What do you think? Have you seen the Mario trailer? Mario? Yeah, do you have yeah, any yeah. takes? Yeah, have you seen? Any takes on the Mario trailer? I want to know your thoughts. Dude, uh, I thought the voice was spot on. Yeah, a right? lot of controversy. Yeah, over I, the voice. I don't really get the controversy now, having watched the trailer more times. Yeah, you know, I think people thought he was going to do some of his. Uh, mm -hmm. I think people thought he was going to do some yeah. of his like regular Chris Pratt guy, like mm -hmm. oh my god. But I'm glad they stuck to the Italian roots. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but Not the voice funny. they gave Luigi, I thought was a little sus. So. Yeah, it was a little, a little more generic, a little more just kind of like. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. I like give him some that. real words. What? Can't do this? Chasm what? I I made a joke that was me doing the voice <laughs> the whole time. I thought it'd be funny to drop a bunch of F bombs and do a stereotypical Italian voice. What? No way. You wouldn't do that. Chasm, you wouldn't lie to us like that. It felt it fit the trailer so well though. <sighs> I gotta get ahead. I of guess this. you gotta get ahead of this. Listen. I mean, I appreciate the work you did if that was you because it fits so well, yeah, but I guess that was wrong of you to do it. I know. You I, deceived uh, a bunch of people. I'm really sorry uh, to portray Italian-Americans this way. I, I even brought an Italian-American representative. Oh, yeah? Sly Stallone's here. Mm. Oh. Um, he's, he's too big to get on camera. He doesn't want to be on camera, but he will. Sly, would you mind saying a few words uh, on behalf of myself and what the sort of like the atrocity that I have committed here this morning. Do you want to bring that camera over or bring that mic over to him? Great. <clears throat> Thanks, Sly. Um, he's shy right now. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Just he say a few really words, shy. please. Hey. Oh, oh good to be here. Hey. 
uh, first of all, big fan of the show. Thank you. Oh, my God. You watch every day? Yeah, but Lena, Kate, you guys to do a killer show every morning here in G4 TV, the place for games. Thank you for saying that. Oh, you know, it's, it's a rocky, it's been a rocky road relaunching, but, you know, yeah. we're, we're trying our best. You know, I'm so glad you said that because I had a movie. Yeah? And originally, it was just called Steve, but I was a boxer. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. But the experience was so rocky, filming it. Yeah. That's what it's called that. that we changed the name and called it Rocky. Wow. Wow. See, that's the kind of behind the scenes stuff that you can't get anywhere else. Thanks and so much for coming. So, by just to be clear, you're you're okay with Cass's Italian accent, right? Listen, I thought what Cass did was accurate. Yeah. It completely accurate to Italian Americans everywhere. Yeah. And I gotta say, of course, there's gonna be a small, a small vocal minority that's gonna be upset with the way he portrayed us. Yeah. You know me, I'm number one Italian guy. Yeah. And anyone checking in, this is Sly Stallone just off camera. He's too big to fit on camera. Yeah. He. Thank you. I, I, you I like to stay in shape, even though I'm 92. You look incredible for yeah, 92. Yeah, you really you, do. Thank you so much. You know, a lot of people say that I, at my age, I look more like Arnold Schwarzenegger, who did a lot of drugs to get his body. I'm all natural, all but nothing but gabagoo for me and a whole milk. You look incredible. You look Ooh. swole, dude. You look like someone forced Akira into the shape of a muscle person. I don't understand the reference, but this is the Italian. I'm Italian. We don't watch uh, like someone, is that cartoon. Yeah, it's a cartoon. It's like someone stuffed an entire pig into a sausage casing. Yeah. But a muscular sausage casing. Yeah. Like they, they added that to it. Exactly the look I'm going for. Now, to the issue at hand, your man Casimir, who I worked with a couple days ago. On vibe check. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We had the spooky ghost playboy woman on Bridget and Mark Warg. Mark Warg. Bridget and Mark Warg. Uh -huh. She was so spooky, so good. I love what you do with the show. But please, enough compliments. A serious issue is here at hand. Oh, oh yeah, we're only partway through this apology. I forgot. I spoke to my man, Kaz. <laughs> and he is so deeply sorry for the things that he said. Yeah. Portraying the town Americans is stereotypical. Mm -hmm. Pasta loving. Cued me eating. Salami swallowing. Whoa. Pino Grigio glurping. Whoa. Sons of bitches that we are. And we're proud of it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wow. He is so sorry, and he has grown so much since the beginning of this show today. Wow. Mm -hmm. And he would just like to issue an apology, uh -huh. and I think he is completely reformed. Okay. And that's why I'm proud to announce today that Kaz has been cast in Expendables 8. Oh, oh my God. Huge news. That's so sick, dude. That's so sick, dude. I've been auditioning for six months. That's great. Oh my wow, God. what a job interview. You like yeah. fully bulked up and training at everything. Thank you for noticing. Yeah. Oh my God, I was getting self-conscious that people thought I was just gaining regular weight, but it was actually muscle weight. Yeah, totally. I thought so, dude. I mean, it looked like the shape was going to form into muscle soon. Thank you so much. And then on top of having Sly here to just yeah. kind of give me the, like, it's okay, everything I said wasn't bad because mm -hmm. we got ahead of it. It's like, what a dream come true for We're me. So far. Should we turn up the AC and get him a comfortable couch to pass out on? He looks very sick. Yeah, he's, he's sweating. Yeah. His blood pressure is definitely up right now. Sly, are you okay? Let me get this. All right. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. We need a glass of water or something. Can we got, I, we I got a mug oh, of oh coffee. Of they actually coffee. They cut our water budget. We don't get water anymore. That's why we only drink. Oh, my God. Listen, guys. I want to thank you for having me on the show this morning. And I want to say thank you to Kaz, Handsome Devil, and follow him on all his social media. You don't have to finish oh that sentence. Right? It's okay. Take a nap. Oh, 
I'm just going to uh, risk my eyes for a few hours if that's okay with you, Lena. Please. I would mm. love it if you well, just yeah. take a nap. Mm, yeah. you, you deserve mm. it. Well, beep, beep. We, can, we should go on break, get him a pillow and blanket. Yeah. Oh, my God. Sly Stallone idea. just turned into pizza oil like Alex oh. Mack and slid into a sewer drain. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Wow. I've never seen anything I have never like seen that. anything like that. Italian culture is so beautiful. It really is. He became a fully liquid human and slid away. Yeah. Let's think on that during this Let's break. Let's just think about that on the break. Mics are hot during the break. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's our first 30 minute block. We'll be back with more. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> We got cast them and Slice Slice alone. alone. That was freaking crazy, dude. Do you think trying to take credit for those Mario voices? Because I feel like they did the They really did. So. I'm kind of like, maybe they should hire him and it have him re dub everything. Or I just assume that maybe. Huge first chunk of news there, guys. Dogs, yeah. dogs ordering porn, mm -hmm. other stuff, and of course Sylvester Stallone. We had a special appearance from Sylvester Stallone. Yeah. Unfortunately, he couldn't fit into the frame, but believe us that he is a huge presence at D four. Literally, He's a great friend. We couldn't like physically move him into. The, we couldn't we, get him over here. If he, if we, yeah, he he weighs a ton. It took. It An just was so hard to get him up ton. the stairs. Mm -hmm. There just was no more time to get him the extra couple of feet. No. no. Uh, um, real quick, yes. chat is asking for Case's best Mario impression mm. and also the word of the day. Oh. Um, oh, yes. You take care of the word of the day. Well, like the traditional Mario voice is like, it's -a me, Mario. Press start to play. Uh, I don't know how close that is, but the Chris Pratt one, uh, minus Kasim's incredible uh, ads, yeah. I can't quite tell. All right, this is, I don't want to make us watch the trailer again, and we don't have. We don't have the incredible vocal stylings of Kasim, but can we hear just a line from Chris Pratt from that trailer? Is that too hard to pull up? Oh. And chat, you can be the judge. We'll all hear it together. Yeah. Is he doing a New York thing a little bit? It was so slight. Yeah, we don't have Cass. A lot of people online were saying he sounds like uh, Linda Belcher yeah. from ah. Bob's Burgers, and mm -hmm. I think that is a correct assessment. Yeah. All right, we're gonna pop back the trailer. I'm gonna pop it back in, and here we go. And we'll just do it for real this oh, time. Ew. Oh, oh, fuck my fucking ass. Oh, fuck. I don't let my dick work anymore. My shoulder. Oh, 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 my shoulder, man. I fucking lose my mind, man. Oh, what is this goddamn place? Oh, fuck this. Oh, sure. Fuck. That one's oh! Come on, Mario. Oh, I'm still gonna fuck this. Mushroom King. Come on, Mushroom King. King. Oh, you wanna teach my Mushroom King? Yeah, I come with it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
<laughs> it's still going. Like, it's going. Oh. The audio lags behind yeah, the uh, that, this visuals was, a little bit. This was bit. part of the issues we were having this morning. Mm-hmm. Hence the late stream, yeah. So I think he is doing a little bit of a... Yeah, of it a, does a, sound... It's subtle, but I think he is doing a little yeah. bit of a New York thing. And you know what? Sounded exactly like Linda Belcher from Bob's Burgers. Yeah. So... Yeah. I wonder if Mario wants Could we to watch the us. beginning oh. with Bowser? The part where Bowser says he's going to take over the kingdom? Because some people say it doesn't even sound like Jack Black. You said that. I'm just curious. Yeah. How, I, can I hear Bowser again? Um, so, like, it's towards the end after the, after he, after after the penguins After the, like, get lava bursts yeah. and stuff. Oh, okay. <coughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe 20 seconds in. All right. It'll be after all the Thank penguins stuff. Thank you so much, stuff. Stephanie. Yeah, this is... He sets it on fire. I finally. A cage. I'm Bowser. Oof. Oh. Well, I guess let's hear this one more time, too. I'm so motherfucking. I'll get my baseball in the street. What the fuck is all of this shit? This isn't a fucking subway. Where the fuck am I? Oh, it doesn't matter. I want to fuck this thing. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, oh, slippery little fella. That's all right. I'll find you. I'm going to come out and put my Mario dick in my hands, baby. Wow. Wow. Sorry, I, I meant to listen for the Bowser voice. The Bowser voice does sound like Jack Black. Yeah. I didn't hear it as much. The first. He's doing a good Better. job of like making it Bowser meets Jack Black. But yeah, like with his fun sound effects. But like, you know, Yeah. Yeah. It's just like You got to get that in. Yeah. And then I just enjoy the Mario part so much that I, I let it play through. Um, but that's Isley, Chris Pratt, I really hope you get the Oscar this year. Yeah. For this movie. I guess we should move on. We should talk about the word of the day. <laughs> word of the day. <laughs> Anyway, my Mario impression is like, it's a me, Mario. And if it's uh, the Chris Pratt, it's more like, I'm, I'm going to come and I'm going to touch this mushroom. I don't do it as well as Chris Pratt's do. No. Honestly, you probably shouldn't try. Yeah. For me, it's insulting. creepy. Chris Pratt does it with more taste. Yeah. Yeah. What's our word of the day? It's Tyro, T-Y-R-O. It's like Tyro, but with a T. Um, it means a beginner in learning, a novice. Uh, The example that was given is the website lists some of the safest mountain bike trails for Tyros still getting used to their bikes. I have never once in my life heard this word. I'm going to warn you, if you use this word in life, it will just annoy people. They're going to be like, couldn't you just said I'm like new? Yeah, like an enthusiast, an amateur. If you're like, when it comes to speaking French, I'm a Tyro. I'm a Tyro. I'll be like, what? I'd be like, are you a pyromaniac? Like, what are you trying to say? Yeah. It sounds too, um, honestly, it sounds very, it sounds like an extreme word. Like you're trying to say that you have an extreme lifestyle of some kind. Like yeah. You wakeboard. Yeah. Ty- uh, this doesn't feel like a fitting sound yeah. for the meaning of this yeah. word. But, you know, use it in a sentence. Yeah. If, you, if you use that sentence in chat, we're storing these for, for Fiona Kisses yeah, Fiona later. Fiona is going to have to pay up on all these. She's going the to She's going to be busy on Monday. Yeah. <clears throat> going to be catching up. Um... Let's skip the Golden Trailer Awards. Let's jump down to um, no more topless women on Switch. Yeah, we, we've been talking about Nintendo. <laughs> Might as well continue on the Nintendo the Nintendo train. news going. Um, Just as a little palate cleanser, uh, I didn't realize this was a game you could play. That's uh, this uh, still frame up here. Hot Tentacles Shooter is the game yeah. that they use as a still. Mm-hmm. And, and listen, I feel like most N- Nintendo-made produced game products don't have um, b- boobs like yeah. this, boobas like this. But you can buy games, a lot hornier games on the eShop mm. that is on Nintendo Switch. Does so. that mean they're going to remove the topless scene from <coughs> the new Mario movie? Oh, there was a topless scene in the trailer that yeah, I missed. Yeah. Well, it's not in the trailer. It's probably going to be in the in the, uh, in the uh, unrated trailer. Oh yeah, obviously. Ma- I mean, he's swearing. He's mm-hmm. lusting after a mushroom. Yeah, he eats a specific type of power up, and he grows large, lusty breasts. Oh, Mario does, and then those cool. are uncensored and, and out for everyone to see. But I guess they're going to remove that because oh. they're not allowed anymore. Anyway, originally spotted by Nintendo, everything the publisher Gonzman has been in contact with Nintendo over Hot Tentacle Shooter for the Switch. The game is an anime arcade shooter where players rescue young women from tentacle monsters. <laughs> That's a reasonable description. 
<laughs> yeah. They're rescuing them. Hot tentacle yeah. monsters. Their <laughs> bodies are covered up by tentacles. And you can unlock uncensored images of them once they're freed from the monster. <laughs> well, you know, it, you're trying to uh, save them from the tentacles. Absolutely. They're just going to happen to be in the buff after they get yeah, saved. It's it's not like it's a reward or anything. It's not like they're doing it. That's the incentive to save them. I feel like it's unfortunate that they're going to break the immersion of the game because yeah. now you're going to save them from tentacles and you're going to be like, what? why were they wearing clothes? Yeah. They were previously covered by only tentacles. Mm -hmm. It just it logically doesn't make much sense. Yeah. It'd, yeah. Be, it'd be like if Samus, you know, got out of her suit at the end of the game mm -hmm. and she wasn't covered in tentacles like she was. That's how I remember it. Yeah, exactly. They're hmm. all they're all usually covered in tentacles. Yeah, most gaming characters are covered in tentacles when they're nude. This is a big decision that Nintendo's made and I don't know, I think they should rethink it. Yeah, I agree. I think they should give it some more time. Another important story. Yeah. I guess not tentacle related, but uh, insertion related. Okay. Guys, you know we're trying to keep you as up to date on possible uh, as possible on this chess news. Chess cheating scandal. It's never ending. Yeah. It literally, the internet can't stop talking about it. Or at least I can't. They're scanning butts now. They're scanning butts for chess tournaments. This it, is we, unbelievable. We did it, guys. We have caught and compromised reality to a permanent uh, end. Everything is getting perpetually dumber, and I can't help but approve because of how my brain works. Honestly, the way that this chess tournament or is 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 uh, approaching security measures uh, or, or the integrity of the game in such a way that is stronger than like most other organizations approach any kind of safety concern yeah makes me a little sad i'm like wow they're scanning butts for a championship yeah i mean maybe they need to start doing it for all sports yeah maybe we're going to get to the point where we get deep insertions before all all professional games yeah just i mean scanning insertions Okay. Yeah. Just to just you know, get up there, check check for the check for the performance and check for the PEDs. Right. Because you gotta check everywhere. <laughs> you gotta get those pads. You gotta check everywhere for the pads. <laughs> and we're gonna have to do it for everything. Honestly, we might have to start doing it before the feedback to make sure again that yeah. we're not cheating by being too good at the news. Exactly. Exactly. Because we're really good. We're such experts. Yeah. Yeah. We get fed all of the up to date information. Uh, through our butts, and eventually we need to be caught and punished <laughs> for doing this. My dream is just to be punished for all of the butt stuff we're doing on the feedback. Yeah. Is the sentence that I want to say. Um, wait, how are we doing on time? Uh, yeah, do we should probably go on break. Oh, okay. Yeah. Should we? Should, that, should I have ended it on that story? I, I mean, mean, we, we could go one We ended on every story like this. Yeah, you're right. There's no, no reason to try to make yeah, it better now. We got to get the audience used to this. Okay, when we're back, do we check on the Mario trailer one more time? Maybe. We'll see. Uh, just because, you know, I do, now that I'm so into it, sometimes I feel like maybe Can't get we enough. check back in on it. But we'll see. There's a we'll lot see. of news we'll to see. get through. Anyway, yeah, beep, beep, so Bussy's much. coming through. Little break time. Our mics are still hot. Oh, the mics are still hot. Hot mics. Got those hot mics. Mm. Can we get a Bussy drop? We can get a Bussy drop by the end of the stream. Absolutely. This is such a blessy worthy stream. Let's talk about this feed, this uh, metaverse thing. It's like the third, fourth story. It's big old Oh yeah, that's stories. funny. Uh, um, I do want to talk about this with Chitama. Oh yeah, let's do that too. Let's do both of those. Oh, I was asking if you want to do any stories. you win something you should have your butt scanned i agree j bro ultimate i just more secure just more wild security for everything let's just go for it full security state yeah let's let's do you know match the security we have to go through at the airport yeah all airport it's everything all locations yeah. restaurants that way we won't complain when you go to the airport yeah. What if they started doing that? But dentists are like, they have to be both a dentist and a butt doctor. Mm. So they're going to cover all the 
They just become a hole that <laughs> Any hole in your body. I'm a doctor of holes. I'm a doctor of holes. Let's check all of them today. Yeah. One stop shop. How are your holes today? <laughs> Let's hop back in in three, two, one. Where? What? Whoa! We're here with the pussy drop. Well, this is the soft bussy pop. Drop. Oh, it's this is just a bussy pop. pop. This is the bussy pop. We'll get to a bussy drop. We have to earn it. I mean, I feel like Chris Pratt earned it with that incredible Mario voice, but we as hosts haven't earned a bussy drop yet. I want to make these more like. Oh, okay. Oh, did you want? No. No, no. We'll do the it's big. Okay. We'll do the big drop it's later. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, What's everybody doing? Everybody, you know how uh, everybody's constantly on the metaverse, exactly as predicted. We can't get enough of Facebook's metaverse. It's being used for everything. Yeah. Well, shockingly, Facebook can't seem to get their own employees to use it. Huh. What on? I Why wouldn't they want to play on Metaverse? Meta's I flagship Metaverse there. app is too buggy, and employees are barely using it, says exec in charge. Exec in charge. They won't even name the exec. When you go to the exec in charge for your quotes, you know you're getting them from the source. <clears throat> um, courtesy of this quote from Shaw. Wait. Vishal Shah, the VP of Metaverse. Yeah. Since launching last year, we have seen that the core thesis of Horizon Worlds, a synchronous social network where creations can build and engage. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Is she's saying that the metaverse is strong, but currently feedback from our creators, users, play testers, and many of us on the team is that the aggregate weight of paper cuts, stability issues, and bugs is making it too hard for our community to experience the magic sure. of Horizon. That's it. That's what's making yep. it hard. Simply put, for an experience to become delightful and retentive, it must first be usable and well-crafted. So she's the person in charge of it, and she's just said, hey, our whole platform is not well-crafted. Yeah, <laughs> it's too buggy. It's too uh, complicated to use. Is paper cuts People like one of those back. new like, soft-touch corporate terms? Like, Probably. oh, the business model has a couple paper cuts right now. I've never once heard that term used in that way, but... I'm going to act like I know what it is. Yeah, it's the kind of thing that when one of your bosses says it, you're just you're nod. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's a business term I totally am familiar with. We're going to smooth out all those rough edges, get rid of all those paper cuts. We're going to circle back. We're going to circle back on this. We're going to mm -hmm. ping yeah. each other. All the soft slices are going to get removed. Yes. Um, Synergy. Look at this. Also, look at this freaking... Look at this freaking mark. Ugh. I j you know, sometimes I wonder... Why doesn't he just grow out his hair? Would that be better? Would it would it be better if he had like a ponytail? Mark Zuck, <laughs> Marky Zuck. I think <laughs> this tweet is very on point. In Fortnite, you can be Goku with a shotgun, and Metaverse is proud that you can have this sort of disembodied Mark Zuckerberg floating around in front of a not to scale photo of the Eiffel Tower can if you, you scroll, scroll down. down? Oh. Uh, oh, it's oh, not showing it's up. It's not showing up. Uh, Damn, too bad. That's weird. Yeah, no Tweety. Hmm. Well, um, th they're they're also arguing uh, that their graphics are going to improve, which is which is that more high res photo of Mark Zuckerberg. That's what see. I want. I want to yeah. see the freckles. But I just you know I don't think graphics are necessarily the issue. I think I think the issue is uh, Walmart land. It's just like everything feels so corporate. Yeah. And just like like a stunt, like, please hang out with us. Look at this thing we made. And it just feels like... I think the issue is, like, why? Forced. Just why? why? And don't make me do this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, like the, it's like being forced to enter the future. Yeah, please don't make me participate in this. Like like those Google Glasses when yeah. that was kind of a thing and then it kind mm -hmm. of faltered. I mean, they're going to come back. Like what, uh, Think back to Back to the Future coming out. You're yes. like, wow, look at the future. There's fl the flying cars yeah. and holograms and pool. It's like the future is exciting. And yeah. now it's like... Please don't bring the future. Yeah. It sounds pretty bad. It sounds exhausting. It sounds like you are forcing us to do a particular ver version of the future that nobody wants. You're like you're forcing us to participate in Second Life. Yeah. And I don't feel like it. I guess they're right to the uh, to a certain extent. If the graphics were if like if you put on a headset and you're like I'm in a whole new world and the graphic fidelity makes it feel like I'm literally there. Yeah. Maybe that is what they're That'd missing, cool. but I mean, that's not going to do You can it. get that on like Oculus Quest for like different I can get like, like carried away by like gameplay yeah. and other things, but like just, just I don't know, around. being in a different place to buy Amazon goods. Jimmy Fallon tonight. Yeah. Square. <laughs> well, that is Fortnite. Oh, that's it, Fortnite. In defense of, of Metaverse. Whoopsies, whoopsies. Just taking meetings in a different office that has the Eiffel Tower next to it. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever. Anyway, the employees aren't using it either, so we can all feel better about ourselves. Yeah. But you had a pretty important story, I think. I have such an important story. 
Um, guys, have you ever been to Wichita, Kansas? I haven't, but maybe I need to go. I haven't been either, but I gotta say, Wichita, it evokes such a strong vision of Americana. Sure. And I would say that this headline really uh, puts it into perspective. Wichita man arrested for public intoxication after hanging on back of semi for over 100 miles. Mm. This is more of a Wichita man and less of a Florida man story. Yes. Like, this seems like the right thing for Wichita. This is the Wichita man. Wow, look at him. If you open up Hinge in Wichita, this is what you're going to see. It's just that photo copy and pasted with different man. filters. Yeah. Different Instagram filters. You can yeah. see that guy in sepia tone or like with more of a mm -hmm. sort or of Or like cool that blue. one where it's like the inverted, like just mm -hmm. rainbow colors. So wait, also though, is that illegal enough to arrest someone? I, I think it's just a safety issue. They have to like uh, discourage people from hanging on the back of the semi truck. It, it's, if it's not your property, right? Uh, you know, it was probably a commercial vehicle. Also, how did they know it's for 100 miles? Uh, he held on for 130 miles, nearly two hours, and wow. ended up in Guthrie, Oklahoma, around 2.30 in the morning. So this is at night, too. I mean, I don't know how they timed that. Maybe <laughs> they just heard, like, the driver just heard, like, a clunk in the back. <laughs> or like, he's, oh. did they just ask him? And he's like, yeah, two hours. Two hours. But was he just bragging? <laughs> 130 miles, two hours, clung to that bad boy. I no problem. imagine hanging onto the back of a truck. I'm Wichita off. man. I can do anything. Also, if he was intoxicated, usually when when people are super intoxicated, they get like the floppy body and like condition. Oh, you know, true. like if you fall, you're less likely to break an arm mm -hmm. if you're super drunk because your muscles are super relaxed. So I'm like, how did he hang on for so long? Although sometimes drunk people get really grippy, so, so maybe oh. super strong grip, floppy bod. body. He's just like perfect conditions for hanging on the back of a truck. Yeah, he's literally his feet are up and he's flapping in the wind, <laughs> but that. Iron grip. If you ever try to pull a remote <laughs> out of somebody's hand when they pass out drunk on the couch, sometimes they like That's clamp true. in. It's like, it's like a baby holding your finger for mm -hmm. the first time. Yeah. He's just baby gripping the back yeah. of that truck, body waving around in the air. <laughs> Wichita man powers. Wichita man. Wichita man. So yeah, that's that story. Let's get it. Uh, we don't have the state news. Oh, wait. Graphic. I have one last thing about that story. Oh, I'm yeah? sorry. Okay. So when the police arrested him, they, they asked him why he was on the truck, and he said he was... Hoping to find his wife. <laughs> I mean, Love you got to search all over the place depending on the wife you have. If you have a Wichita yeah. wife, they're notoriously yeah. all the over go. the place. On they're the on go. the go. They're, yeah. And that's a good way to see a bunch of people from the road. You know, he could just look into every car. Mm, is that yeah. woman attractive? Is that my wife? Is that yeah. my wife? Wichita wives, they're foragers. They're nomadic. Yeah. They move <laughs> from, they move all over Wyoming. Exactly. <laughs> Exactly. Um, I kind of want to keep us on the state news kick. Do you see this Montana this, this story, Stephanie? It's, um, where is it? Oh, it? Is it Montana? Was it the uh, political ad? It's this ad with snakes in it. Okay. Snakes in an ad. Snakes in an ad. Yeah. Um, I can't see the headline. Oh, maybe I didn't paste oh, it in. Monica. Tra yeah, Monica. Monica. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, there we yeah, go. Yeah. Her name is Monica Trannell. Monica Trinnell? Trannell. Monica Trannell? I mean, she's going to say her name in this ad. Um, and, you know, let's just see if she earns your vote after we pull it up. She's running for... I can't find my own story. Stephanie, do we need to go to a quick break and then and tease us for the next block? Oh, yeah, if you want to... Yeah. Oh, Maybe. well, I mean, look at this incredible tease. Maybe Snake on a plane. Yeah, look at that. Look at that cute little guy poking his head up. Here's Guys, when we're back, we're going to get We're going to get political. Get political. <laughs> this <laughs> snake on a plane ad. <laughs> We'll see you in a second. A little bussy break coming through BP. Oh, it's already 11. I forgot that we started there. Guys, we started. That bus. Chat, those of you that can, those of you can still hear us, do you feel like we kind of need to watch that Mario in front of the trailer one more time? Yeah, please let us know if that's something. I um, just, I still feel like I don't quite have a handle on it. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. I really have to check in with him one more time. Yeah. Maybe, if we do, maybe we'll check on it right at the end. Yeah, it's right at know? the end. Just like, just so we can munch on it. Yeah. 
accent. I just like, again, it sounds like Chris Pratt. Yeah. It almost sounds Italian. I feel like you really hit the strikes on personally, of it being yeah. authentic and authentic. But you know, I it's had, a line. I had an Italian friend. Yeah, I they won't. sounded like that a lot. I've got Italian friends, so I can talk about them. Yeah, me yeah. too. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we might just hit up that Mario trailer one more time right at the end of the stream. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We didn't actually get Katsum's opinion on the Mario trailer. Cass, are you? Maybe we can get Cass. Maybe we can have Cass watch this ad with us and then get his opinion on the Mario. Cass, do you have any? Do you have any opinion? Because you kind of had to apologize. I'm just wondering if you have any opinions on the Mario trailer. Are you ready to go back? Yeah. Cass, you want to watch this um this this Congress ad for us, and then we'll roll into some Mario. Opinions? Absolutely, okay, yeah, great. let's watch it. So Monica Trannell, she's running for state Congress in Montana, uh, and she released this. Uh, she's a big capital D Dem. She's one of the, the those Dems. She's running uh, this, this political ad currently. Yucky. Let's check it out. Okay. A snake on a plane. Brian okay. Zinke spent tens of thousands of our tax dollars to fly on private planes. He spent even more on travel for his family and friends. 18 federal investigations into criminal 18. and unethical behavior. Zinke lied to cover it up and quit in disgrace. I'm Monica Trinnell. I've spent my career taking on snakes. Look at that stance. Like Ryan Zinke. I approve this, this message. This lady's got in me in Congress, a shovel. Oh, he apparated back in. He's reformed out of the Dude. liquid. Give me a shovel over here. Whoa. Whoa. Damn. I, th I thought that's a crazy spot for a Sylvester Stallone cameo. Yeah, that is wild. Huh, that was the vo that Sylvester Stallone voiced that snake. As a snake? Wow. He must really be behind Monica Trinnell. I guess so. Well, yeah, when you get like a cool, powerful celebrity yeah. Like yeah. behind you, it's it's good for the polls. We're not about politics here. We're all about gaming and news. All about gaming. And gaming news. and news. And um, we've never strayed from we've that. We've never strayed from that ever. And uh, But because of Sylvester Stallone's endorsement yeah. via that voicing that snake, I, for one, stand with Monica Trinnell. I think Even though, I mean, maybe you could argue that ad's in, in bad taste or it's confusing. Yeah, I, I think I am too, just because, like, I'm. I don't know anything about anything, and I. I saw snakes. And I saw a plane, and I thought, yeah. huge production value. Yeah. Sly so Stallone doing the voice. Yeah. Let's watch one I'm other sold. thing before the Mario trailer. Okay. Yeah. And you can, and we can get your opinion on this too. Sure. There's all. And again, this isn't about politics. This is about dating. There happens to be a conservative dating. App. Oh yes. Um. Do we have the trailer for that? I still? might have that link. Yeah. It's um, good that we finally have an outlet, a place to meet other like-minded folks. Absolutely. Oh, the you know? right. And side whether you're on that side of the political spectrum or not, you've, you you you. In the dog. Yeah. Even if you're wrong, you should be able to meet other people that are wrong or Stephanie, right. Stephanie, this is going right at the top okay. of the uh, doc. Oh, this is a ad for a new dating service called The Right <laughs> Stuff. Um, it just happens to be an a, a dating app for conservatives. You know, we've just covered a Democrat. Yeah. Let's go to the other side of the political aisle. Yeah, we're cool. not political here. Let's we're, cross we're, the we're both sides. Let's cross big both sides advocates here. Uh, let's just check out this dating app. So Conservatives got to just too. natural, very like natural. people they just grab right off the street, off the street. with their own totally. personal experience yeah. about their app right. experience. Okay. Today, we brought in a group of conservative young women and wanted to get their honest opinions about what they're looking for in the guys they date. Mm -hmm. What are you looking for in a partner? They just have to be a conservative. Definitely someone that wants to have kids. I like an independent man. Nice. Personally, I like the alpha male vibe. Oh, I want a man vibe. who really loves his family. Definitely someone whose faith is important to them. For Liberals, me, it's someone who actually like wants families. to meet my parents. No, I'm, I'm trying to tear them down and break them apart with all my For different definitions. For me, at least I know that we're going to start off with some shared values. I'm surprised they didn't get any Italian Americans men I've dated, to at least know how to answer this like question. Woman. In my no, I mean, I feel like they, they'd have a lot have to sort of contribute. Yeah. I like Although I guess we haven't seen the end of the ad. Who knows? Relationship as a man. Yeah. I just prefer my be, men uh, to be masculine. And what's the biggest red flag when it comes to dating? A Democrat. No Democrats. A Democrat. Can't be a Democrat. A Democrat. That's easy. A and Democrat. me, I'm a no black Democrats. woman conservative. No. 
I love the conservative and I only date them and the liberals they're trying to break apart of families. And that's still going. Marriage is supposed to be between a man and a woman. This is the outside. And that's that? it. Yeah. Check us out the right stuff <laughs> in the uh, Apple App Store. Download now. Hmm. Interesting they didn't show her on camera for that. Everybody felt a little stilted until that last person. Yeah, like, really. It had the vibe that maybe they were being held hostage before then, but then the last one seemed like a true a true red. Yeah, true yeah. red. A uh, true red conservative. Passionate, passionate looking for... I'm just a black woman looking for love. Yeah, we just Stephanie replayed the clip of mm -hmm. that last person talking just now. Mm -hmm. um, I got sound bites now. Yeah, we yeah we got it. we're starting to get a soundboard together. Can we play her one more time? All right. I was the January sixth looking for love. Yeah, yeah. Wow. I mean, so again, if you're conservative, you want a date like minded. My ideal man has a gun. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Sorry. Riot gear. Yeah. Ooh. And I love of traditional families. This is the extended cut of the ad. Wow. That we're, that we're sourcing clips from. I'm yeah. a black woman. <laughs> hmm. hmm. That part's confusing. from the commercial. <laughs> Check us in the app store. Yeah. Well, yeah, again. You, nope. you can check this in the app yes. store. Yes. And there's reviews too there. Yeah. And, you know, if you want to date a conservative Italian-American black woman. That is the have place to find her. At least one of them. <laughs> and they got them for the ad. Check, uh, check us out. You know, I live in Orange County. And I also, I'm a snake. <laughs> Stephanie, that part of the ad, you keep hitting buttons. Yeah. yeah. It keeps going. It's like I have, like, a, a snake over here literally crawling over the sound. Yes. Oh, wow. We don't have a Just ton of time. Just in the office. Yeah. I could talk about the right stuff, the conservative dating app all day. Okay. Because obviously I support it. But um, I think mm. I want to see this Mario trailer one more time. I want to really hone in on if this accent is right for Mario. Yeah. I'm pretty sold. I think if we watch it one more time, we can really cinch this thing up. Just the Mario part? Let's watch Let's watch it from a little bit of the Bowser part. Yeah, just, sort of just like, a little bit. Just a little just to bit hear a little bit of that Jack Black. Oh. And then we'll just watch the Mario part. All right. Like halfway through, you know. There we go. Yeah, there yeah we this go. is fine to start from yeah. here. Oh, there's a penguin, too. penguin. <laughs> I do douche Cage, come here quick. I need you. I'm Bowser. No way yet! The pick of destiny! Cage! Oh fuck! Oh shit! My fucking head! Oh, there's only one thing I need, and it's a total fuck. Oh, so many different mushrooms. Oh, one of these gotta be a total and he's somewhere. How about this one right here? Oh, God, some... oh my God, I found one. Oh, oh delicious. Mm. Come on. We're on our way to January 6th to the Capitol. Oh, see you there. Bring you the riot gear. Huh. huh. I didn't pick up on that in the first couple times we watched this the trailer. New information. Um, But I guess he, I think he did say that every time. Yeah, or were you just playing it like were the settings on audio HD or something? Like, yeah, we just it, got some new. We we just got some new sound bites. Wow. And okay, we I know we gotta go. Commercial. So just one last request from when the t right before the toad pops out. Could we just watch it from from there? Just right, right before, before a toad pops out. Okay, yeah, right there. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, oh fuck, shell! My fucking head. my also my fucking shoulder hurts too. If only there was a toad that this I the last time we'll watch this. force myself on, you know, just to get my rocks off on a toad. Oh, what is this oh place? man, look at all these. This could be one right here. Let me see. Let me touch this without consent. Oh, shit! Oh, my God! I want to fucking say I will follow this thing to the ends of this goddamn earth. Come here. Come here. Oh, just... 45 is not my prison. I think I misheard him that last time, and he's, it wasn't, the, the January 6th stuff was, he's mostly focused he's on the toad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then 45 is not my present. Was 40, guys, question. What, Cass? I heard that. I was so like, you were listening too, huh? Thanks for coming over. Yeah. 45, the president. Yeah. Which one, which president was that? I think, um, 
like which one was Obama? I up don't or which he one might be was res- he might be referring to like Mushroom Kingdom politics. Oh, that was oh. that was because uh, you know the way these picks are and these like animated movies they always work their liberals agenda. Yeah, it and looks like that was a liberal agenda. That was oh. uh, Donald Trump. Huh. Donald Trump. Oh, so he's pro Trump. I no, think he's but against. But he said 45 Trump. is not, not my president. president. Oh, he's not my. He's not I my president. Because I also thought I heard him say he was on his way to January. Yeah, that's why it was confusing to me. Maybe they flubbed the line. Yeah, maybe. Should we watch it back? Yeah, one probably, last time. I, I was gonna go watch it from my desk because that's I can fine. Because if you I have better, here. we have okay, a lot of yeah, audio. Yeah, yeah, we have running our own on. audio through this, and then we gotta go after and this. And then we gotta go. We gotta talk about Andor later. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna go back to Mario. Oh, that thing is shit. My bad. My overall. Oh, oh my shoulder. Hold on. You can see she ate me, and that's the love of a toad. Yo, what's this? Oh, there he is! There's a toad! Come here, toad! Come here, toad! Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna find you. Oh, I'm gonna, is this Lauren Bobut's district? Oh. Did he say, is this Lauren Bobert's district? Yeah, it was just like a question. Huh. So, so you can't really tell Guys, what did you side hear that? They're on in that case. Yeah, it seemed like he. Seemed like he's like uh, I don't know which side of the aisle he's on. I guess he's yeah. permeable again, but we're not about politics here, so that works for us. Like we're not trying to. But also like really kind of rapey for the tone. Yeah, a it, little this bit. This is concerning for me, honestly. A little him, bit. He seemed to like... just only want to get some toad. Yeah. I don't want to hang a, like a lamp after on it. it. Let's it not. Let's... There's like touchy stuff, yeah. possibly. It's you a lot edgier. It. It's without consent, even if they're a fake cartoon animated creatures, yeah. you still need their digital consent. I think yeah. that's why um, DocuSign was invented. Yeah, honestly, I would say I'm surprised people are focused on the voice as much. The content What's oh. going on inside? Yeah, what he's saying is, everyone's like, he doesn't sound like Mario. Yeah, it's like yeah. guys, you're you're focusing on the wrong thing. It's he's what he's saying is like he wants to. Yeah, it's like, inappropriate. Have uh, non-consensual sort of interactions with the toad. Yeah, which is the bigger issue. Yeah, I for me that's the bigger issue. But I gotta say, guys. Yeah. I'm pretty excited pretty for this pumped. movie. It I'm looks pretty really excited good. For this. Like, the Especially animation. Jack Black as Bowser. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's kind of got that comedic tone of like the Lego movie, but plus plus Mario, which I think is, is very fun. So. I think it's going to yeah. be great. Anyway. A few of us have seen it. Yeah. Not me. Yeah, not me. So they say it's good. Hey, you, right. got a, you got the number one, po- number one show on the network coming up, don't yeah, you? Yeah, you do. Well, it slipped to number two. Oh, okay. Yeah. Ratings are down for Andor. Oh, dang. But guess what? Your show's doing really well, and that's why I've managed to shoehorn my, myself into it every day this week <laughs> to get a little bit of that juice. I mean, today you were barely on it, though. But No, Andor- I just had to come do my yeah. apology tour with Sylvester. Guys, we got to go. We, we watched too much Mario Terrell. Andrew Kander, stick around. So it's coming up a hot and heavy right after this. But I know yeah. you guys have been waiting, so. Bom, bom, bom. Yeah. We'll see drop. We'll see you. Drop. We'll see drop. Okay, these guys will be back just so fast. Yeah, Andrew Emily's Andrew. coming by. Emily from Emily. X Place come by to talk and yeah, or with them. us. Yeah, I'm assuming they won't do the Mario trailer anymore, but that's up to them. Guys, we'll see you. We'll see you. We'll see you soon. We'll see you Monday. You'll be back. See you Monday. See you soon.